In this video, I'll show you how you can build a complete and full functional MVVM application to perform CRUD operations on a database without writing a single line of code. Plus, see the new wizards that help you create a complete application featuring a modern UI in a few clicks. Open Visual Studio and start by creating a new project. In the Visual C Sharp Templates category, find and select the DXperience 13.1 Template Gallery. This opens the gallery containing project templates for all platforms, WPF, WinForms, etc. You can select a platform at the top of the window. We want to create a blank WPF application, so we leave the WPF platform selected and choose the blank application template. On the next page, you can change the name of the project if needed. Click Create Project to proceed. A new blank project is created. If you run it, you'll see an empty window. So let's continue to the next step. We want to connect to a database and construct an entity framework data model. Right-click the project in the Solution Explorer and select the Add New Item option. In the Data category, locate the ADO.NET Entity Data Model item. Define its name and click Add. The standard Entity Data Model wizard will appear. I'll connect to the Northwind database. Note that this approach is called database first, but in your own projects, you can use code first or model first approaches if you like. The only requirement is a valid DB context-based entity framework model. Now select generate from database and click next. Click new connection to create a connection string to the database. Choose an option to bind to a database file and click continue. Browse for the database file and then click OK. In the Connection Combo box, select the Northwind.mdf connection and click Next. In the following dialog, click Yes to copy the database to the project directory. Now click Next to see the database structure. Check all tables and views to include them in the model and verify the model namespace. And click Finish to complete the wizard. Note that by default, a database is copied to the output directory every time you rebuild the project. That is, changes made to data will be discarded after the rebuild. To save changes made by the application to the database, select the database in the Solution Explorer, switch to the Properties window, and set the Copy to Output Directory property to Copy if Newer. Rebuild the project to compile the generated classes. In the middle of the main window, you can see the Instant Layout Assistant. This is the design time tool that suggests what controls you can add to the window. Clicking any of the items will add corresponding controls to the layout. You can enable and disable the Instant Layout Assistant via the DevExpress WPF Controls 13.1 submenu of Visual Studio's main menu. The Instant Layout Assistant contains multiple items and you can scroll through them via the mouse. We want to add a user control to the main window, so let's scroll to the user control item. As there are no user controls available in the solution, the Instant Layout Assistant will suggest you create a new one. This action will launch the template gallery you saw at the beginning of this video and now allows you to add a user control. Click OK to continue. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll choose the tabbed MDI view template that will generate a user control allowing you to perform CRUD operations against selected tables and views from an entity framework model. The wizard creates a complete MVVM application, which consists of data model, view model, and view layers. Okay, let's run the wizard. First, it picks up the existing entity framework data model. If you don't see the created model, make sure you rebuilt the project. Select the Located Data Model and click Next. The next page lists available tables and views. We're going to use all of them, so let's click Finish and wait until the wizard generates all the necessary files and references. Click Yes to rebuild the project. 
If you switch to the Solution Explorer, you may notice that the project now contains new folders and files. The Northwind Entities Data Model folder contains data model classes and interfaces. We don't need to modify these classes for the purposes of this video. The View Models folder contains view model classes used in the application. View models were created for each table and data object. The Views folder contains views or user controls for the view models defined in the View Models folder. In addition, two files were added at the root level of the project, Northwind Entities View.xaml and Northwind Entities View Model.cs, which are the main view and main view model, respectively. Let's get back to the main window. Now we want to add the generated user control to the window. Scroll to the user control item in the Instant Layout Assistant. When this item is selected, a list of user controls existing in the project is displayed. Select the Northwind Entities View. We've added the main view to the window. Let's make the window larger. And that's it. Let's run the application to see it in action. The application has a navigation panel on the left and a ribbon on the top. The main region is a tabbed MDI container. You can click any table in the navigation pane to see and edit its contents in a tab. Views obtained from the database are available in a separate group in the navigation pane. You can also click them to open them within tabs. You can edit rows of tables in separate tabs by double-clicking the rows or pressing corresponding ribbon items. If records have been updated outside of the application, you can press the refresh button to reload data. To see a print preview of data in the currently selected tab, click the Print Preview button. You can see that the new wizards help you create a complete MVVM application performing CRUD operations on a database without writing a single line of code. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.